Hello, I am Parani Panramu from the Department of Engineering Design at IIT Madras. This course is titled DFX, where X is a variable, usually it is used to refer manufacturing and assembly. In this particular course, we are going to cover four modules, which is design for robustness, design for manufacturing, design for assembly and design for sustainability. First, I will give an overview of the entire course and then my co-instructor Professor Sarana Kumar will talk about uh, design for manufacturing and assembly while I give an overview about design for quality and sustainability. The whole idea of design for X is to see how one can make an intelligent or wise decision at the design stage while trying to account for some activities that come at a later point, meaning after design such as manufacturing, assembly, quality control or robustness and sustainability. So, we cannot wait until we face all these things, come back and make a change in the design. Hence, we want to account for these at the design stage itself. So, the entire scientific framework on how to foresee the problems in each of these cases and account them at the design stage itself is what DFX is. For instance, there are also other sorts of X like serviceability, but we do not cover all that. We only cover the DFMA which is manufacturing and assembly and design for quality and sustainability. So, under design for quality, I will introduce concepts on robustness. Robustness is nothing but when there is enough variation in the input, there should be limited variation in the output. So, irrespective of the usage condition, the performance of a machine or an automotive should not vary too much. That is the idea of robust design. So, we will introduce concepts of robustness and how this concept of robustness can be used in driving design for quality. Quality is usually associated with the manufacturing phase. The moment the product is designed and is sold to a customer, the performance becomes a reliability issue. Until it is with the manufacturer, it is a quality issue. So, we will uh, introduce concepts on uh, design of experiments, how to uh, design specific experiments to understand the variability in the performance how to quantify that variability and how to control that variability to attain a robust design and hence a quality design will be discussed in DFQ which is designed for quality. The quality in this particular case will be achieved through the concept of robustness. The last part of the course will talk about design for sustainability. Today sustainability is a big buzzword, often times our designs are mostly reactive designs, meaning we design, we manufacture, we use the product and then worry about how to dispose the, the different components of the product. This is called reactive design. If you want to account for sustainability at the design stage itself, then it is called a proactive or an active design. So, we are talking about an active design here, which is DFS design for sustainability. So, usually sustainability is quantified by the environmental impact and it has different aspects of course, the environmental aspect, the social aspects. So, how to account for all these things in terms of quantifying and bringing them into the design stage will be covered in the design for sustainability part. Usually this design for quality and sustainability is widely used in the industry uh, per se any industry, but more specifically in automotive and aerospace industry today. Of course, biomedical electronics also it is widely used. Uh, so, anyone who is interested uh, in um, being placed in such companies or someone who is already working in those companies where people see a lot of variability in the manufactured components or there is variability in the performance and they want to understand how to reduce these variabilities by identifying the right factors and conducting those designed experiments to identify these factors should take these courses. There are also other names to this design for quality um, because basically the idea here is to account for the variability. So, sometimes it is called design for variance or design for variability 
and off late people started using the word design for uncertainties and uh, latest uh, machine learning techniques and associated artificial intelligence techniques are also widely used to understand these uncertainty characteristics. I hope uh, this conceptually interests you and uh, you will register for this course and benefit out of this course. I hope to see you guys in my course. And over to my co-instructor Professor Sarana Kumar who will talk about design for manufacturing and assembly. Greetings to one and all. Uh, my colleague Professor Palaniyappan Ramu has uh, nicely introduced the course on DFX. As he rightly pointed, uh, the various uh, attributes associated with uh, the uh, manufacturing and uh, quality control aspects of a product has to be accounted for in the design stage. Uh, to emphasize the point, uh, about 20% um, of the cost is uh, associated with the design stage, but it decides the 80 percent of the cost that goes into manufacturing, assembly or quality control, marketing and uh, finally the disposal of the product. So to look into all these aspects, how the design can efficiently uh, manage both the operation as well as the end uh, of the part. So, uh, specifically coming to design for manufacturing and assembly, um, manufacturability is associated with the cost of manufacturing as well as ability to attain uh, specific uh, attributes or part features in the part. Certain surface finishes or certain uh, feature dimensions may not be uh, possible for us to manufacture using certain processes. So, to account for the process planning and uh, to ensure that the design is manufacturable within the facility and the infrastructure that is available for achieving the same, one has to relook at the need for certain features in the design and uh, also predict the cost of uh, manufacturing. Manufacturing and assembly cannot be looked at. Uh, as two different activities because the cost associated with uh, the overall manufacturing is the uh, cost of manufacturing components and then the cost of uh, assembly. If the degree of difficulty of uh, uh, manufacturing is uh, reduced, uh, it will uh, increase the uh, degree of difficulty as well as cost of assembly. That is, if we make the components simpler so that the manufacturability is uh, improved, uh, the assembly difficulty will increase and vice versa. So, these two attributes cannot be looked at as two separate entities. Uh, so, in this course, we will look at methods which can quantify the uh, cost associated with manufacturing and the cost associated with uh, assembly. We will look at tools uh, that can specifically analyze uh, manufacturability of processes like uh, sheet metal or plastic uh, injection molding process. And assembly, uh, we will look at manual as well as robotic or uh, the automated assembly lines. Uh, along with uh, this uh, DF, uh, M and A, uh, the uh, quality and uh, the uh, robustness and reliability and sustainability of the product uh, is uh, important and uh, I hope uh, this course will uh, take care of the uh, additional you know qualities that uh, you can develop as a design engineer and uh, be a value addition to your uh, other courses. Thank you.